transparent and credible elections. People wake up at dawn, stand in long queues to cast their ballot, but they end up with the results that indicate their votes were not counted and did not count. Economic and electoral justice must be seen to be intertwined. You must pursue them with the resolve, the courage, the sense of urgency, and the faith that they deserve, and we must do it now. Soon it will be too late. I'll finish those notes. Then now, I just want to now add to a few points. First of all, what Professor Adam Solo mentioned to you people, and uh, also what my other three brothers here have, have t talked about. One, I want to begin to tell you here that nobody has asked for, and there will be no handshake. They've kept on talking wherever they go. Oh, these people are doing this because they want to be called for handshake and so on. You have not asked anybody for handshake and we don't want any handshake. What we are talking about is we are doing this in the interest of this country. In the last elections, we negotiated with Honorable Uru Kenyatta and what we agreed on was put in a memorandum of understanding which we made public on the day of the handshake. And that is what informed the decision to set up a task force which came up with the BBI. That was the basis of the handshake. We then, as the opposition, never had any position in government. We did not even appoint a CAS, not even a minister. So there's been a propaganda which has been spread by this team of Kenya Kwisha, that we were responsible for the problems within the Jubilee government. We never had a say in the Jubilee government. We never had anybody appointed even as a head of parastatal in the Jubilee government. Not even a permanent secretary in the Jubilee government. We have never had, they are the ones who are in government, the ones who are living there earning salary, having protection of security and so on, and yet they come out to the government and say that the government had failed. If it failed, they were part and parcel of that failure, not us. Now, those who have spoken before have given you historical background to political development in our country from independence to where we are. We had a multi-party system at independence. We had Kanu and Kadu and APP. Eventually, Kadu and APP dissolved and joined Kanu. They all joined Kanu without having to go for any by-elections. They just walked across the aisle from one side to the other side. But later on, when there was now internal contradiction within Kanu, then they came up with a constitutional amendment that required that if you left the party that sponsored you into uh, parliament uh, and you, you resign from that party, then you have to go back for a by-election, a re-election, seek the mandate. 